Right, so come, come in with the camera. I just want to show you that. So I've bought this, but um, I've, I've bought this for something that I'm going to show you on it in a moment. But I've got something that's over engineered, so it's basically future proofing for what I need because I've got normal tripods. But what this is, it's a heavier duty one with the bigger thread, which is something um, that I need for what I'm going to show you. But I'll go through the basics with you on this first. So if we just step back a bit so that we've got it all in. Uh, first things first, I've got it set up halfway. Uh, if I lift that up, it just collapses together for ease of portability. Um, it comes with, just keep on that, it comes with a carry case. Quite a sturdy carry case as you can see with a handle that goes over and velcros on but you can also attach a shoulder strap to it as well so that you can carry that around again for ease of portability uh, i'm just going to show you on the video the full height of this stood next to me so i'm i'm six foot tall just tighten these and you can see Right, so as you can see, that's about six foot that. Uh, when I bring it down and start using it, what I want to show you is just how steady it is. So it's a very, very sturdy tripod, but when you're actually manipulating the head, it is extremely steady. So for panoramic shots, it's absolutely ideal. Um, it's a I think they call it a fluid motion because let me put the camera on it and I'll show you what I mean so this is my uh, EOS 750D uh, you've got a quick release head on the tripod if you just have a look at this so I can't move it anywhere at the moment it won't go anywhere but if I unscrew that and then pull this down that just comes out so there's your quick release head although you've got the two diameter of screws you can actually take one or both of them out you just remove that that rubber plug there move it down and then out comes the screw so you can pop that back in and put the rubber bung back in right there we go. so if i get if I get this, pop it on there, screw it up, alright so for ease of use I'm actually going to take that screw out, put the bung back in, put that there, tighten it, get the screwdriver out. There we go, so that's that tightened. And now pop that back, put it in there. And tighten the screw up. There we go, it's not going anywhere. Now, so fluid motion because as I push that round, you can feel that there's tension on it. So it's moving really steadily. I can move it faster if I want to do, but there's still going to be tension on it, which means that there's no juddering or quick movements or sudden stops. So that's for the panoramic. And that's altered by this here. If I turn that now, it's not going anywhere. Um, you can actually take this off and put a ball head on if you wanted to. But this, if I turn that now, now I've got, that movement and again it's fluid you can feel the pressure on it so obviously what i would do on that is unscrew this turn the camera around so that it was sat on it that way and then i can pan not just up and around i can tilt as well so that's that so 
very, very over-engineered. However, it needs to be because there's one purpose that I've got this for. I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. Right, okay, so this is the reason why I've got a heavy duty tripod. I'm going to fix this to the head now and you'll see why. And it's because it comes out that far. But not only that, on the base, I need the, um, the bigger thread. Um, th uh, three eighths, is it? No, a quarter. It might be a quarter inch thread, but that's what I need anyway. So I have taken off the three eighths thread and three-eighths this must be the three-eighths yeah this is the three-eighths I've taken off the quarter thread I'm now going to attach this to this and then I'll put it on and then we'll see it in action right so everything's attached to the slider bar the uh, quarter inch thread is now screwed into there this plate this detachable plate or quick quick detachable plate is metal so there's going to be what I've had on the other ones with plastic ones is you get bend and bow, but I know there's going to be none of that on here. So, into that we go, pop that in, tighten this up so that it's not going anywhere. That's that. Now then, let's unlock that. Oh, what's it Tighten the top up. How steady that is. Just get rid of that. So we are going roughly three foot in total from there. Let me just turn this, just bear with me one second. Right, so we're going roughly three foot from there over to whoops over to there and there's no there's no fall in it whatsoever which makes all the difference as you can see that is amazing and if I put it onto the panning setting that would be even better really this should be switched the other way shouldn't it should be going like that that would be better there we go that's zooming in and out in. now this is on a normal uh, tripod but I've got a couple of uh, other tripods just nowhere near as heavy as this so if I've got either a long lens or something like this there's going to be no tipping it's solid it's fixed there's no problem whatsoever if I did want to put additional weight then it would just be put onto there or hung from there uh, but it's absolutely fantastic it's sturdy there's not many, there's not many uh, tripods where you could put something on like that that's not going to dip when it gets to its full extension. But I think one of the things that I am most impressed about is when you start using something like that and you get that fluidity of movement with no jarring, juddering, quickness. That's fantastic. So if I was now to take that off, and to do a panoramic uh, video shot or a panoramic single shot that's going to be spliced together that would be so easy so big recommendation on this tall short lots of things to do with it fluid movement very stable fantastic